the mole concept has some pretty interesting math behind it. And with the things that we have learned in the past, like molar mass and moles, we can deduce this formula. Okay, let me just write it with a pretty blue kind of color. Okay, so the number of moles equals to the mass of the substance of the substance in grams, all right? In grams, all over the molar mass, which is in grams per mole, okay? I want you to internalize this and see what you can learn from this equation alone, okay? I give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now, let's, let's try a question, okay? Okay, in yellow color, okay. Suppose you have two grams of hydrogen molecule, okay? Two grams of hydrogen molecule. What will be, what, eh, no, I, I, I won't write the full question. Okay, what will be the number of moles? What will be the number of moles? Pause this video and try this out. All right, okay, let's find the answer to this question. Okay, let me try an orange. Okay. Okay, what would be the step one? Step one. First, we have to find the molar mass. We have the mass of the substance given here. Okay, now we'll have to find the molar mass. Find the molar mass. Now, in the previous video, I talked about how we find the molar mass. Now, the mass of one molecule of hydrogen is to you. So, you know, by, you know, like very, very tricks, you know, using tricks, the molar mass, the molar mass, I'm going to write that in mm, will be 2 grams per mole. Right. Okay. Let me, yeah, 2 grams per mole. Now, what is the step two? Step two is put all of this into the equation. Step two, the uh, equation. So, uh, the number of moles, let me write that in a, number of moles equals to the mass which is in grams all over let me write that in all over our molar mass two grams per mole now if you you know like solve this you'll find that the units get cancelled unit gets cancelled then the mole goes up top and this will result in one mole so, if you have two grams of hydrogen molecules, you'll have one mole of such, you know, hydrogen molecules. And this is why, you know, this is the relation between, you know, moles, the mass, and molar mass. So, if you have any two of these, you know, parameters, any two of these parameters, you can find the other one. Suppose you're given the molar mass and the moles, you can also find the mass. And if you're given the mass and the molar mass, you can find the moles just like we did right now. Okay, so this <laughs> is the math behind you know, chemistry. And there's a lot uh, of things to do um, with math and chemistry. <laughs> I just repeated that. Anyway, this you know, field is called stoichiometry. Okay, it's called stoichiometry. Let me just write that here. Stoichiometry. And it's the math for chemistry. Okay, and this is very, very interesting. So I encourage you to check some of these things out. Okay, so that is for, you know, this video. All right.